Guys, we have found some G-body seats. And it wasn't an easy task. I, I gotta be completely honest about that. That was no part about finding G-body seats that was easy. G-body bucket seats. Facebook Marketplace came through for me. Let me show y'all what we got. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. So I've already carried one of the seats down there. And now I still got one more that got to go down there. And we're going to talk about the task at hand because we got some work to do. So y'all just stay tuned. Guys, so without further ado, here are my two new bucket seats. Not new, but new to me. Now I know what y'all thinking. Why is one burgundy and the other one is, I don't know what color that one is. Black, blue, gray, I don't know. Something like that. <clears throat> and y'all like, why is one on burgundy and which one is the original color? Alright, this is the original color. This one got spray painted. But, I don't want it to be burgundy because y'all know uh, my G-body it's gonna be blue so I am gonna get these seats upholstered but I do want to try to get this one back to that color so that that don't look so bad in the car so I have to I tried a few things I bought a few things um, but we're gonna start with trying to get this color back to that color so y'all hold tight and we're gonna try to get that done first all right guys so before we get too far in this is what we're gonna try. I went to Walmart and paid $15 for this. So, this is the first thing we're gonna try. I'm gonna spray it on now. Uh, uh, I guess I'm gonna follow the instructions. And we're gonna try to see if it's gonna work. starting to come off as y'all can see some of that red is coming out it is starting to look just like that seat again so I'm going to spray another layer on it we're going to go back in again hopefully I can get this seat as close as possible man so y'all hold tight alright guys so if you can see on the inside of my G body on that side it's super messy so we ain't going to be able to test fit that seat but we are going to test fit this one alright so if you look in the floor down here guys um if you can see that there's a bracket only on this side right there is no bracket over there on this side for for a bucket seat because this thing had a big seat in it and the brackets aren't in here so i do have to buy the brackets and weld the brackets in um but i am still gonna stick these seats in and just i don't know i just want to see them in here um, I may possibly go in the house and grab the dash and stick the dash in here and just get a get a feel of what my car gonna look like. So y'all hold tight. Let me get this seat in here and let me go get my dash and I'm gonna let y'all see how clean this thing gonna be once I finish it. I got seat is not bolted down, but um, I just got the seat sitting in there and as y'all can see. I got the dash in there, so certain wheel change is gonna be a must. Um, my next plan of action uh, before I actually put these seats in here permanently is to number one get those brackets welded in there and get this car painted. Uh, at least you know the body painted, and then put all the windows and stuff back in it. Um, that way, all the windows are back in it. I can put the dash back in it, and I don't have to worry about the dash getting dirty or getting paint on it or nothing like that. So, the dash is going back into the house until I get it to that level. Um, I do have to buy a windshield, um, but I do have the back glass. The back glass is up under my house. So, um, like I said, guys, this is just a test fit. I didn't realize that these seats are burgundy. They just faded, but, Fade it, whatever, it works for me. Um, 
See this wet? Pretty sure y'all hit that water. If y'all don't, that's water. Literally running from the bottom of the car, from the seat. So, I'm gonna get this seat back out of here, and I'm gonna sit these seats on the back of Iron Man um, for a couple days and let them dry. So, my next course of action with these seats is the tracks. Now, the tracks do have some surface rust on them, but for the most part, these seats are in good. That the tracks are in good shape but I do want to get them painted because I want them to look good so what I'm gonna do is unbolt the tracks and take them off and I got some black paint we're gonna paint the tracks and we're gonna let the seats dry a couple days and we're gonna have some nice looking seats to bolt in this El Camino so y'all hold tight hi right, guys a uh, couple days later the seats are have been on the back of Iron Man and they've been drying guys. Uh I painted the brackets. I'm gonna show y'all what I did, man. I, I I think I did pretty good. Come on, got my assistant out here today. Look at him. Look at my assistant. Come on, man. You gonna help me. Tell the channel what's up. Huh? He ain't no help, y'all. Watch out. Alright guys, so here are the seat brackets. Spray them with a little bit of this uh, Rust-Oleum reformer. Took the whole can. I put multiple coats on it. Um, I mean, I literally did the best I could with it. I think it looks okay. Here are the seats. After cleaning them, I realized they was already burgundy. So this is the one that didn't have paint on it. And if you look deep down in those fibers, you can see that it was burgundy. So the seat was just dirty. So anyway, we're going to have some faded burgundy seats in the G body but in the meantime we finna get these brackets put back on this thing and we finna go sit them inside the shop y'all let me get this done y'all hold tight <laughs> Another steering column, and I gotta put the brakes in here. Y'all stay tuned for all that. 